Wednesday, July 10th, 2019. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals. Your tropical update shows a higher likelihood now of a tropical storm forming in the Gulf of Mexico by the time we hit the weekend. The main thing you need to know right now, it still is a tropical disturbance, uh, what's known as an invest. The hurricane hunters will check it out by tomorrow, likely to become a tropical depression. That could even mean later today, and then a tropical storm. The name would be Barry. All the thunderstorms this morning offshore. The X represents the center of low pressure south of Panama City. This system will continue to move westward and then slightly southwestward, growing, and the first impact, rain, heavy rain in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, by the time we end the weekend, three to five inches of rain likely in southwestern Alabama, the Florida Panhandle. Look at southeastern Louisiana, seven to 10 inches, central Louisiana, the coastline, over a foot of rain likely, the heaviest amounts offshore. So this could be a big rainmaker. As with all tropical systems, this one has mystery, and the mystery is the timing. The timing of it will depend on the track of it, how far south it goes in the Gulf of Mexico, and that will also control where it ends up. At this point, there are no watches, there are no warnings, but because you have to issue a watch 48 hours before landfall, there is the possibility that this system could be declared a potential tropical storm, the name would be Barry, and potential tropical storm means it's very likely to become a tropical storm. So that simply means it may not have formed at the time the watch is issued, but you have to issue the watch to get government's time to prepare. A lot of folks have asked about what might it do to an algae bloom. Well, I'm not exactly certain. I'm not a hydrologist or an oceanographer, but my first thought is it would agitate the water, mix up the water and dilute uh, algae, but the other issue is after a tropical storm or hurricane, all the rain runoff will likely create more algae. So it's not necessarily a good or a bad thing. The track of the storm controls the rainfall, the wind, the threat of tornadoes, the threat of storm surge. And right now, here are just three general scenarios. They're not the only three. Number three shows it moving due westward. That would give it a landfall sooner than later with less time to strengthen. Number two takes it a little far southward where it could become a moderate to stronger tropical storm. And then number one, that one gives it the most time to become an even stronger system, picking up more moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Now remember, those are for the center of the storm, not the impact. The impact can spread out hundreds of miles in terms of rain, in terms of the threat of isolated tornadoes in the feeder band. So it still is a situation to watch carefully. As we start our day off, things just a disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico. But at any point, the hurricane hunters could find information that changes everything that we're looking at right now. Always have a plan as we move through hurricane season. You've got to be prepared. Keep up with what's going on. I'll try my best to let you know the weather updates, especially on my Facebook page. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.